I figure I'm gonna do a little update on my Bio 14 project. I'm pretty much finished um, that little front compartment here. Well, not completely yet. I just think I've done enough fiberglass over that uh, wood panel. Done look the produce. I just simply used the stuff that I had left over. And um, so today I did a little uh, started on the uh, cross members or whatever you want to call it. And um, did the first two to uh, well that's basically where the floor goes over there. And um, I just used the wood that I had left over. Um, don't have to be fancy. It's gonna be not gonna be seen afterwards, anyways. The only thing I care of that it is strong, and um, I'm just gonna fiberglass it all in. I don't know how good the camera is gonna show this. Uh, that center block is just on there to keep them in place, so they don't shift around as I'm just fiberglass it on. And that board, of course, is just there to line them up. Now yeah, let's walk around here. <clears throat> and uh, so I'm gonna have to put, yeah, I think two more in before I reach the, the transom. And what I also did, it's gonna slightly slant towards the back and the reason for that is so I don't have no standing water in the boat when I'm when I'm in it and water splashes over because I had it before that I always had the my feet wet yeah you can put a drain pipe in there but uh, I figured if it slants slightly towards the back then uh, the water will always run off uh, the next step is going to be when I um Get the uh, two remaining in, and it's going to be going to install the floor, or what are you going to call it, the sole or something? I don't know. <laughs> to me, it's a fucking floor. Yeah, and um, and then I'm also going to fill all the um the space underneath the floor, just like I did in the front with this um self-expanding foam closed cells foam so uh, of course number one for flotation and to keep moisture out three it makes it sturdier because that stuff is uh, pretty dense it's uh it's quite st quite sturdy and um, and definitely keeps the moisture out so um, out I'm not sure if um, my idea is going to get enough flotation in this boat that it really becomes unsinkable. So between the space that I already filled out under here and whatever, um, how big of a compartment I have below the, the floor, I'm not sure if that would be enough of flotation. My idea is going to be simply when it's done, everything is on there, the motor is on there and what have you. I'm gonna bring it to a local lake where uh, there's usually not lots of people there and the idea is just leave it on a trailer till it just about starts floating up and now I'm gonna open the plug and let the boat sink right on the on the, on the dock and um, I'm gonna see how far it goes on under and um, if I can get it to the point that the motor stays well at least the power head stays above water that's all I need because as long as the power head remains above water, you can always push the boat back up, you know, if the motor is strong enough, that is, you know, but... Well, the main idea is really just, uh, just in case something happens, the boat gets swamped or, or turn it over or some shit. <laughs> because sometimes I just don't pay much attention and if I want to go out boating, I want to go out boating. It doesn't matter if the wind blows like 50 miles an hour and I got 15 foot waves. Uh, for some reason that doesn't deter me. Maybe I'm just stupid or have no sense of self-preservation. But yeah, the idea is that I can go out with this boat in any weather. Um, and the worst thing that should happen to me is that, that I get wet. And uh, But I also have wetsuits, so 
uh, back in my days I windsurfed a lot and that was always a wet ride anyway so okay so that's how far I got it now um, yes it doesn't look fancy and um, I've seen much better videos on, on YouTube about how people doing a real nice job with uh, building building those those uh, stringers cross members or whatever uh, to me it's like this I'm, I'm, on a, I'm on a tight budget here uh, this is kind of a side project the boat isn't worth much you know it's an old boat and um, I can spend two three thousand dollars in it just to make it real fancy the boat still ain't worth that much and um, yeah like I said to me it's more important to just get it sturdy get it reliable um, how it looks under there <laughs> Who gives a shit? Okay, well, anyway, so that's for today. That's how far I got on it. And yeah. All right, like, all, like always, thank you very much for watching. And wish you all the best with whatever projects you have. And uh, well, and soon I have to go back to my sailboard project anyway. So I'm going to have to pipe push this a little bit to the side. Depends on what my financial situation is you know um, it's always like you know I can only do so much but it is what it is all right thank you bye bye